2017, things that have been surrounding uh, this election, even as we await for the official announcement of who's going to be taking the reins of power as the president here in Kenya. Let me introduce my guests in studio. I have seated right next to me is Boaz Waruku, who's a governance and accountability specialist. Thank you for your time. Thank we also you, have Betty. Professor Maurice Amutabi, who's a political analyst. And at my far right, we have Peter Munga, who's a political analyst. Gentlemen, thank you for your time. All right, so I want us to begin this conversation from what your expectations of the day uh, would be. Uh, from Tuesday, Kenyans went to vote uh, Wednesday. NASA came out with the hacking allegations. Thursday, we also had, you know, IBC also, um, you know, uh, defending their position. Uh, and also NASA declaring that Raila Odinga actually won the election. So with everything that has been happening, it has been quite an eventful week. Uh, boys, what are your expectations today? Thank you, Betty. Um, first, I have to congratulate Kenyans mm -hmm. who turned out in large numbers mm -hmm. to vote uh, because that is their right. In fact, uh, uh, it's a uh, given that um, after the 2010 constitution was promulgated, mm -hmm. I think a new framework uh, through which then uh, Kenyans would be electing their leaders in a very more transparent and accountable uh, process was put in place. So um, having gone to the polls mm -hmm. and cast their uh, votes, I think it is uh, incumbent upon the institutions that are managing the elections uh, to give them confidence that their, vo their votes would be counted and that those votes mm. would, count. would count. And that is accountability. So uh, my expectation today is that uh, all the fears that uh, quite a majority of Kenyans are having mm -hmm. would be uh, laid to rest mm -hmm. because uh, the process is so clear. In fact, I don't know why um, we seem to be causing uh, some confusion. Mm -hmm. uh, and Betty, if you allow me, I think this confusion uh, started from the very moment uh, that uh, IBC started streaming some numbers, the numbers from no known sources. All right, and we'll and, get and, and we'll get that. to that. We'll yes. get to that. Let me just hear the other views Thank of my you. panelists, uh, Professor. Uh, we've been with you, you know, for the better part of this election coverage. Right. Um, looking at today, first of all, are we likely to finally hear from IBC who the uh, the winner is? All right. Thank you, Betty, for mm -hmm. the, the chance and for the question. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I want to first of all appreciate the fact that. Uh, the Kenyan election process has been declared as a fair, mm -hmm. especially in terms of the voting that took place on Tuesday. Right. That everybody is in agreement that was very peaceful because there were no scenes and the uh, delays that we have had in the past were not there. Mm -hmm. The mishaps and so on were very minimal, mm -hmm. except perhaps, perhaps like Turkana and so on. And then secondly, uh, the IBC has executed its mandate uh, in a manner that uh, allows us to give it a bit of the doubt. Mm -hmm. Uh, for the remaining period. And I think your question is, what are the expectations today? Yes. That the IBC will come out and say that they have, they have received all the 34B forms, mm -hmm. because I'm told so far the difference is about 100 forms that yes. they receive. Yes. That today they'll, have, they'll tell us they've received all the 34B forms, and that they've also received the 34A forms from across the country, mm. and they've analyzed them, uh, tabulated them, and they're ready to give the final result, final verdict, especially mm -hmm. the uh, presidential uh, verdict. All right. That's the one I think uh, everybody will be expecting. All right. And then finally, the the IBC announcement should be preceded by a uh, announcement to all Kenyans mm -hmm. to keep the peace. That uh, we need to keep peace. Uh, so that the country can go back to its normalcy mm. in terms of its normal operations All right. as a state. All right. Peter, your, your assessment of the, of the week that has mm. been and uh, looking in to what's going to be happening later on today. Um, yes, it's been a great week. Uh, Kenyans have uh, received uh, uh, kudos from across the world. Uh, everybody else around the country mm -hmm. or in the, around the globe actually has said Kenyans have shown maturity. Mm -hmm. Today, I expect nothing less than uh, declaring uh, the president uh, elect, whom personally already I believe uh, is uh, going by everything that has been done. I've seen how all results have come in, the governors. I can see Jubilee is leading, members of parliament, Jubilee is leading, women reps, Jubilee is leading. Of course, I expect nothing less than to see how the results have been streaming in. I believe 
they'll declare Uhuru Kenyatta the president. Today. All right. Well, we well we wait to to, to hear if that's going to be happening. Uh, quite a optimistic. It has become uh, uh, Peter Munga there. But gentlemen, Peter. let's uh, just take stock of what has been happening for the last couple of days. And really, even when you go <coughs> through social media, Kenyans are really they, they're really at a point where they do not know who to trust. IBC has come out to say that you know this the servers are still intact. There was no hacking, uh, you know, in place or done uh, to their servers. Um, NASA has come out to say, you know, the contrary, and Jubilee seems to be uh, very comfortable with uh, the status quo, things as uh, is. So who really should Kenyans trust at this point? Uh, uh, thank you, Betty. I think to start with, uh, I hope we have not come here even to make any declarations mm -hmm. because I don't think it is our responsibility. Right. That mandate rests with the uh, IBC. And in fact, um, even for IBC also to project or attempt to make it look like uh, let uh, stakeholder A or B mm -hmm. give us evidence, I think that is erroneous mm -hmm. because the law is very clear. Mm -hmm. The law uh, provides that IBC shall manage the elections and that uh, this process of management should be a process that would be very credible, mm -hmm. that can be verified. And the verification process starts right from uh, the point that the voters went to cast their, mm -hmm. uh, their votes, you could see uh, uh, we actually had to be identified mm -hmm. uh, by the gadgets. And uh, from that process, then uh, the counting done, uh, so that uh, once that counting was done, all uh, uh, the results were tabulated in a Form 34A. Mm -hmm. This Form 34A, once signed by the agents and with the rubber stamp, of the IBC were supposed to be collected and collated at the constituency telling center. And precisely this is where the uh, presidential elections then are handled because uh, our constitution did provide that uh, presidential elections shall be held in each of the 290 constituencies. Right. So we'd be expecting that each of these uh, 290 constituencies actually have um, the form 34B, that call, that's the telling of all the Form 34As. Yes, yes. And IBC, as the custodian of this, I think um, the other stakeholders, NASA inclusive, who were doing their parallel processes, mm -hmm. was pro uh, precisely just to put a check and to ensure that uh, the accountability uh, that is involved in the process is really upheld so that uh, the voters don't feel shortchanged. Mm. In right. fact, uh, that's why I, I started by indicating if only um, the IBC had started by, for ex example, saying uh, here is a constituency called Tiati or whichever, sorry, mm. I don't know why that name is mm -hmm. coming to my mind, but here is the constituency called X, and uh, that constituency uh, from polling, uh, uh, polling uh, uh, station one, polling station two, right. polling station got three, this, this is what we've received. What we've so sent. that progressively mm -hmm. all Kenyans are being taken in a manner that they know those 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 are real figures. All right. I think that would have really helped Kenyans. But, but also just going well, with the support that you know yes. both camps have, you know, with Kenyans, yeah. you know, both of them saying something different, and IBC right. saying something different. Um, but whatever IBC saying is uh, almost the same thing as what Jubilee is uh, uh, leaning yes, towards. Just, uh, sorry, Betty. Sorry, I, I don't think I would be interrupting you. But uh, just allow me mm -hmm. to uh, assert one thing. Whatever is said by whoever mm -hmm. is not material here. The material fact is that IBC is the one that should be telling us that something. Should be telling us and something. what they should All be right. telling us should be something that is verifiable. Mm -hmm. That's right. why, uh, as accountability people, when we started asking, you streaming some results, where are they from? How are they coming in? Mm -hmm. You know, that really causes havoc. And if you look at what they were streaming, for instance, you'd find that uh, uh, they're streaming mm -hmm. statistics which seem to be having a pattern. All right. And even we'll be getting uh, to as that. of now, yes, the pattern yes. of the 54-44, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Almost everywhere. We'll you're wondering where that is we'll coming We'll get to from. that. Professor, you. You, you, your analysis of this, first of all, was it uh, you know, a great idea to have these different uh, parallel uh, tiling centers that are giving out different information? The, uh, thank you, Peter, for that. I think the understanding of uh, Kenyans and IBS operations was at the constituency level. The court ruled 
the High Court ruled that the constituency level mm -hmm. will be at the point at which presidential announcements for results will be made. Any announcements for presidential votes will be made at the constituency level. And the dependent <coughs> item for that is the 34B form. That once the 34B form was compiled, the constituency returning officer will stand up and announce the results yes. for presidential candidates mm -hmm. at that level. The 34A form is also critical because it does a very verifying document for each polling station, and that's also very, very important. And, and understand the anxiety that the streaming, of course, has raised mm -hmm. uh, on both sides because uh, the 34A are delayed to arrive in Nairobi, and many on the NASA side mm -hmm. and Jubilee side started to be anxious mm -hmm. that what's happening with these forms. Why are they delaying? They are making comparisons. If maize came from Mexico in three days, how come these forms from mm -hmm. Kenyan constituencies are not arriving in Nairobi? Mm -hmm. Th that leaves us to leave this process to IBC. Let IBC bring together all the 34A mm -hmm. forms and the 34B forms and announce the result. So the issue is telling. Mm -hmm. The contestation of those who are content contesting this uh, issue is basically telling. And I think IBC mm -hmm. has assured us that uh, mm -hmm. by midday today, they'll have received the 34A forms, mm -hmm. 34 B forms from across the country, and they declare uh, they'll announce All right. uh, the winner. I, I, and I think that's very much mm -hmm. where Kenyans are waiting for the IBC result. However, there seems to be a set of, of, of a mindset that is uh, uh, in both, on both sides that is uh, dangerous, where we begin to see contestations yes. of declarations. Uh, we should leave that job to IBC mm -hmm. and stop speculating so that we don't create anxiety. Are you also saying that NASA should come out and should actually you know, <coughs> be patient first and just yes. wait for what IBC uh, has correct. to say? Uh, correct, mm -hmm. because there'll be time for the counter evidence mm -hmm. and, and, and counter tally, mm -hmm. where Jubilee will say this is our tally, and NASA will say that's, that's our tally. Mm -hmm. And if that is agreement, there's a court process All right. to which they'll be, uh, have a chance to present their evidence uh, in the court of law All right. because of contestations that are uh, legal would love to present it and evidence presented from both sides mm. uh, in terms of proving their position and so on. All right. But I think pre, uh, preempting the verdict of by IB, uh, IBC by making a soon announcements mm -hmm. in the street and so on, mm -hmm. I think should be discouraged as much as possible. All right. Uh, well, Peter Amunga, do you think uh, maybe IBC erred in um, giving out this provisional re results? Because they say, the chair came out the other day and said, do not believe that these are the final results. But that also raises questions, because from IBC, we're expecting that whatever numbers we're getting are the real numbers. As much as we, yes, <coughs> everything else is contained on Form 34A and the, and the 34B, um, should we have even just waited before we have these provisional results all over the place? Um, well, uh, let's, let's get this right. Uh, mm -hmm. First of all, it is, I don't think it's a sin for us to be seeing those results there. Mm -hmm. And uh, what the chairman simply said is that as much as we are seeing them there, the forms are also coming. And you know, the word delay should not even be used here because so far, he has seven days by the constitution which allow him to receive and announce the winner. Mm -hmm. The seven days are not yet over. So the word delay is even out. Uh, so the provisional results are coming, which is also allowed by the law. It can come, it can be seen there, but it is also being verified as the forms also come. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, as it's being verified by the, the, the 34A and 34B forms, uh, Kenyans, uh, IAPC is keeping Kenyans, uh, are, are telling them what's happening, where the delay may be is caused. And I think that kind of communication, I'm not their advocate and I don't speak for them, but I tend to think from the way Chebukati and his team have been communicating, mm -hmm. Kenyans are satisfied. You look at Kenyans on social media, <laughs> Kenyans even call us on such radio stations, I mean on TV stations like this, they seem to be, to, be, to be satisfied with how IBC is conducting itself. The issue is, it is some politicians who don't seem to be patient enough to be giving uh, IBC its time to do its work. Those are the ones who are seeming to be putting everybody on their edge. And I, I need to correct something here. Uh, I've heard somebody say that uh, the two camps are uh, maybe, uh, uh, you know, trying to have... The Jubilee candidate, who is the president, uh, Uhuru Kenyatta, has not even spoken about this process. He's not even come out in the open to say anything. Mm -hmm. I think it's only one camp All right. which seems to be keep coming and uh, speaking about this issue. The, the, if today, God allowing, uh, IBC announces the results, then I believe at the end of the day, now is when we can talk about it or the, the two camps now can talk and compare. All right, that, boys, that, you want to say something? Can we just be clear? Mm -hmm. I think uh, 
we are misguided in thinking that the results of the election is at the final end mm -hmm. of the announcement and that the verification should be done at that particular point. You realize that, uh, I'll walk you through how the process began, even at the voting. When you approached that polling station, you found that they'd uh, put the list of those who are there. You as a voter, if you were able, you could check your name. If you were not able, you were helped to check. That was a verification process. You go to, uh, to, to, to the clerks, you start by uh, being identified in that process. That, there's a verification, the agents were there. So each and every uh, step, is supposed to be checked. Yes. So um, first, that's, that, that tells you that even what Peter is saying and what my colleague Prof was saying, that we sh uh, people should just be patient and wait for that announcement mm -hmm. is when you start reacting. Mm -hmm. I think that is dangerous and that is not as per the law. Um, why we have uh, people verifying at each and every step? Mm -hmm. Because every step matters. Every step, once those votes are opened. Even the seals that you could see that uh, the various agents were putting there. I, was in, I actually checked quite a number of polling mm -hmm. stations. You could see that those seals asked to ensure that the, the votes are safeguarded. So that by the time then they are opened and counted and eventually sealed again, we can ascertain that the votes that are in there yes, yes. are the actual votes. That is verification. And IBC should have helped us in taking that forward to the uh, extent of when they started streaming. Mm -hmm. it, would be, it was supposed to be appropriate for us to say we are streaming from County X, mm -hmm. polling station Where is, the forms have so been verified. That, yes, mm -hmm. so that everything, you know, what, what is projected there, we are not expecting to see things which have not been verified. Mm -hmm. If there are mistakes in there, these things work now even more dangerously than opinion polls mm -hmm. because, you see, it's supposed to form opinion mm -hmm. in the minds of people. And particularly when you see patterns, uh, but again, at that particular moment, none is verified. It's really causing havoc right. in the minds of quite of a number Kenyans. of people. So every moment, I think uh, when you say that there are some stakeholders, including NASA, when coming out, you, are, you understand NASA had a telling center. And by yesterday, NASA had its own uh, indication. And that's what I'm but asking, what is I'm that saying, dangerous to have I'm all saying, these numbers? No, they, it, it's, it's not dangerous, dangerous because mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's the right thing for any stakeholder to do. And in fact, they can't announce themselves winners. They have the facts, but they can't announce themselves winners because that is the responsibility of the IBC. In fact, I would have wished that IBC would go along, have the votes as counted and entered into form 34 A's and tallied at the constituency uh, tallying centers by, uh, using the th form 34 B's so that by the end of the day, when all the 290 form yes. 34 B's are collected mm -hmm. and uh, tallied, uh, uh, because actually the, the, okay. the announcements that the constituency uh, returning officers did, that concluded the mm -hmm. presidential elections. All right. What is, uh, is, is left is for the national uh, telling center simply to announce okay. that from yes. this right. XB, uh, yeah. YZ, yeah. we have this. I want also to indicate that uh, yes. from uh, what we are seeing right now, mm -hmm. it seems to me like there are many uh, seats which are contested for where there's no contestation. Mm -hmm. And uh, many of those uh, uh, whose figures are indicating they are winning are conceding. Uh, those who are winning are being declared winners, and those who are losing are, declared, are conceding. But uh, I know there are about uh, uh, four to seven, I think, uh, other uh, electable areas, uh, special governorship, gubernatorial race, mm -hmm. that uh, have raised eyebrows. And I think the Form 34A and uh, 34B will, will actually uh, verify that, because I know that... Uh, there are those who are contesting uh, because my brother is raising the 54, 44 percentages that were seen in uh, in Bomet and uh, and uh, and I think uh, Kajado. Bomet, Kajado, right. uh, Meru. Right. Right. So, 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 so the point I'm raising. Let's just listen. So the point. Let, let me just finish. Mm -hmm. The point I'm raising is that uh, they are very close races, like those. Those are close races. So whether percentages are there or not is immaterial. Mm -hmm. But what needs to be done, and I think IBC is working on this, mm -hmm. is to let Kenyans who vote in those areas 
those sensitive gubernatorial races mm -hmm. and the senatorial races that are contestable right now and so on, like an aerobic gubernatorial race and so on, that they bring out the 34A and 34B to assuage everybody and put everybody on board and make them comfortable. But what finally, about the presidential? Let's go to back to the presidential Yeah, then one. the presidential yes. one, because of the manner in which uh, uh, this high stakes uh, is a high stakes position. It's a, it's a position which everybody looks at, and that's why everybody's anxious about the creation of that perhaps today. And I think that's why all Kenyans are keen to see the from 34 A's and 34 B's mm -hmm. from the various parts of the country in order to come to an understanding all right. that this is how the tally was arrived at. And, and I think Jim Kato was very clear. He said that those were provisional results. Mm -hmm. He didn't say these are the results being declared from NSOs, but he said those are provisional results that are being streamed in and that if 34 A forms come mm -hmm. and they said otherwise, things will be rectified and so on. And I think we should give them the benefit of, of the doubt. Mm. All right, uh, Peter, your final thoughts before we take a break. Um, well, I, I agree with my friends, um, actually, that uh, we are just waiting for, the, for, those, for those forms to arrive and everything to be concluded. The, the main issue here is, uh, let's, let's not push those narratives of, uh, of those, those percentages we were seeing maybe on social media. Those ones have been disapproved. Actually, they were, most of them, they were false, they were untrue. The truth of the matter is that... Uh, the, 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 the variables between in counties like Bomet and Machakos that were being pushed that they were all 54-44 have actually been dismissed uh, with, with the records very much available. But the main thing that I'm liking about this is, even I, I was very happy to read this morning, uh, uh, one of the principals of NASA, Mr. Uh, Wetangula, Senator Wetangula, considered uh, that he had won and he thanked his voters and uh, he told Kenyans and voters that he has accepted the results. And as my brother, uh, Professor, is putting, most of the people participating in this election, uh, be they MCS, be they women rep, be they governors, many of them, majority of them, have accepted the results and said they were, that's what they, they were expected. It, 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 would right. be, it would be yeah, erroneous for yeah, Peter to say yeah. that uh, Wetangula conceded. Mm. He won. You know, you concede, oh, yeah. you concede yeah. when you've lost. Yeah, so sorry, I, sorry I, I one. think, yeah, and also knowledge. what is talking of as uh, figures which disapprove what the statistics, I've been crunching numbers, yeah. and not just me. I think a number of Kenyans are doing so. So I can't come, you mentioned to, the, Bomet, I can't you come to this uh, platform here I think you and work on hearsays. I can relay one by one. Okay, what, just what mention Bomet. What was the percentage? All right, yeah, let's, gentlemen, let's not get into yeah, Professor. I think, I, I think I'm, I'm more comfortable I think, I think. Uh, with being in this. Being yeah, in yeah, with sniping. Yes. Thank you. I, I would like to see that decorum in the discussion. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm let, uncomfortable let, with sniping. Let us uh, maintain professionalism. Right. Yeah. Okay. And right. also, right. I think the responsibility of making... The, uh, the election results to be believable All right. is based uh, purely on the uh, IDC, but it should also be backed by the verification of the process right from the start right. to the end. Because if it is not done in that manner, that is why then the suspicions and the tensions building up come from, up. Uh, yeah, but I think the, the because the right. next campaign, yeah. there are certain seats that are contested right now. There is a contestation yes. in terms of the results, and we are saying that uh, the from 34 A's yes. and B's yes. once they arrive. They'll actually resolve this to every, everything. So all right, we, we'll take a break. We're continuing with the conversation. We're continuing with the conversation in the next hour. So we'll take a short break, uh, but we're coming back here on Kivumbi 2017. Also, just waiting for that uh, press briefing, uh, the Bombers of Kenya by IEBC officials, just to hear uh, maybe just how many uh, polling stations have already reported with their form 34As, and really what time we could be getting that final announcement that Kenyans are really waiting for. So we take a break. We'll be back shortly. Coverage starts here. Kivumbi 2017.